What we're going to show you is we're going to show you a way that can save you some time with doing websites. Right now, I have a basically a divved layout website which has an outer container or think of it as a border with a header section, a menu section, a content section, and a footer section. Now, when you're doing a small website, one or two pages, doing like your header here and your menu in here, that's good because you create a new page, you copy the layout, and then you just change what's in here every time. What happens if this website now turns into 20 pages, or 30 pages, or 10 pages, or 100 pages, and you get a call that says, we want to change the one, the one thing in the menu, and now you have to go to all these pages and change that instance. Now, I personally wouldn't want to do that, uh, but maybe you do. So, what you can do is by using PHP, because this is a basically a PHP page, basically take what's in here, I'm going to copy that, and you are going to put in your PHP tags in here. And we're going to type an include statement. Now, what an include statement does is that tells you to include another file into this area. So we are going to include, it's called header.php. We are going to come here, basically do the same thing, include, and this one will be menu.php. Now content I usually leave alone, because that changes from page to page. So then, we'll finish this off. I'll type in include footer.php. So basically, instead of this one index file here, this index file now has jumped up to four. You have the index, page one, page two, or page two, page three, and page four. So now what you want to do, is you want to come into File, I'm going to open up another text document here, and we're going to say this is the header. We're going to save this as header.php. Open up a new one, and we're going to say this is the menu. File, save as menu.php. Then we're going to open up the last one, the footer. File, save as footer.php. Now, right in here, this is what was here before with the current state. I'm going to refresh it, and there is the footer. And there's the, the other three in there. So, now you'll notice inside a footer here, I can do this. I can treat this as an HTML page. Now, if I come back here, refresh, there's that. Now, in each of these subfiles here, you don't need to include the HTML elements and the head elements and the title elements. Doesn't need all that. Doesn't need the div. You can throw divs in here. You can ID this just like a typical 
web page. So, you know, so basically you get something like that. You can style it, make it any way you want. Again, if you have to do one or two pages, you know, again, this isn't needed. But what's needed, where it's needed for, is multiple pages. I just did a website that has 30 pages on it, and I had to make some changes to the menu. I didn't have to do that 30 times, I only had to do that once. So, using a little bit of PHP, basic PHP actually, you can do, save yourself trouble in the long run. So, thank you for watching this tutorial. Please subscribe, and thank you very much.